Welcome back to the course on design of power electronic converters. We were discussing gate drivers and today we will look into another type of gate driver which is called as the pulse transformer based gate drivers. So, before this we had uh, discussed your optocoupler based gate drivers. Now, optocoupler based gate drivers are based on optical isolation and uh, they give you capacitive coupling between the input and the output. Uh, but when we want isolation which I said is one of the primary requirements of gate drivers is isolation. So, that isolation uh, when we want to have it the first thing that will come into your mind is uh, magnetic isolation and that is of using a transformer. So, you may be wondering that why not use a transformer for gate drivers. So, of course, it is uh, used for your gate drivers uh, as well your magnetic isolation and uh, so it will be giving you an inductive coupling between the input and output and so how it is used uh, what are the challenges in it and what are the advantages of it let us look into it. So, transformer based gate drivers of course, you will have a transformer and on the input side you will be giving pulses like this and the output side also you are supposed to obtain pulses of this nature and so that is why this is also called as a pulse transformer. Now, when we use uh, transformers there are several things that uh, come inherent with it that is uh, one is that that is it gives you isolation. It gives provide you magnetic isolations between the primary and the secondary. Next requirement of your gate drivers is level shifting. So, that also is something very easy to do in case of your transformers. You can have one voltage levels on the primary side, you can, you can have another voltage levels on the secondary side. You stepping up and stepping down is very easy if we use transformers. So, level shifting is very easy. Then next is that uh, your power supply uh, you do not need another power supply you do not need an uh, a separate uh, DC to DC converter to supply your uh, gate drive requirements. You can transmit signal as well as power using this uh, um, transformer. So, that means uh, you have this this is your signal plus uh, whatever is the uh, when you have uh, um, your uh, this kind of a MOSFET or an IGBT whatever is the gate drive requirement the power requirement here. So, both of it your signal plus power that can be transferred through this transformer. So, your power supply you do not need uh, I mean a separate one is not uh, required if you are using transformer. Then next is that your uh, noise immunity is also something uh, which is uh, needed good noise immunity is uh, needed that is your uh, CMTI levels uh, that is something a requirement for your gate drivers. So, that also is uh, good for your transformers ok. So, it, it has got uh, several advantages and instead of uh, capacitive coupling um, as in case of optocoupler based uh, gate drivers here you have inductive coupling. Well, there may be parasitic capacitances involved based on the frequency switching frequency, but uh, usually you will I mean inductive coupling is what you expect more in case of your pulse transformers. Now, when we are using transformers uh, one of the problem with transformer is that it only allows AC to be passed through it ok. If you are going to give DC to a transformer so then you know that it is going to get saturated and uh, the very basis of operation of transformers is that uh, AC is given on the primary and that is what then is stepped up or stepped down and we obtain on the secondary side. But uh, when we see these kind of signals that has to be given to the gate 
they have uh, your uh, DC also uh, in them. So, this may be from 0 to 5 volt let us say. So, this has got DC also inside it, but DC is not allowed. So, then uh, what is the solution? What can we do? So, for that what is done is that people use uh, this capacitor, this coupling capacitor. So, if we have a capacitor before this primary side of the transformer, what will happen is that, that only the AC this will be passed, this capacitor will not allow the DC to go on um, and apply to the primary side, only AC will be applied. So, your this problem of DC going into the transformer is solved by this coupling capacitor. But now, there is a, another problem that comes up uh, when we use this coupling capacitor. That is uh, there it becomes uh, dependent, this operation becomes dependent on the duty ratio, what is the level of the duty ratio. So, let us see that. So, let us say these are your gate pulses okay, and here you see a 50 percent uh, duty ratio. Now, what will happen is that when you subtract the DC out of it. So, if you are subtracting the DC out of it, this is what it is going to become. Now, here somewhere here you may be having your threshold. So, if this is your level of your threshold and this, uh, so what is left out after the threshold is this much. Now, this voltage uh, gate to emitter voltage whatever uh, we are going to give, this uh, may not be sufficient to drive the IGBT or the MOSFET into saturation. So, insufficient for for saturation, this may happen. And if it is insufficient for it to uh, drive the uh, MOSFET or the IGBT into sa saturation, then it will uh, uh, tend to uh, work in active region and then huge amount of losses will take place. So, uh, this is one problem that we see and is something dependent on the duty ratio. Then let us say if your duty ratio is uh, small, less and then if you subtract the DC out of it then this is what um, is you may be getting and here you may see that then everything is ok, it may be sufficient enough uh, to drive it into um, your saturation region and things may work um, all right. Now, let us say if you have high duty ratio, it is much greater than 50 percent, then uh, if you subtract uh, DC out of it and if you just want the AC in it. So, this is what you may be getting and here you can see that this is smaller than threshold. So, your device may not turn on at all. So, here device no turn on and that means uh, you will uh, be not getting the turn on and turn off as you are as you want. Uh, because of your high duty ratio. So, what we observe here is that that your operation uh, is becoming duty ratio dependent when, when proper operation will take place and when proper operation will not take place that is something dependent on what is the duty ratio that is provided by the PWM controller. Uh, but when we use this capacitance to uh, remove the DC and pass the AC to the transformer. So, this is a problem and uh, how to solve it? So, people have solved it by what is called as the DC restore circuit. So, what they do is that on the other side they again put a capacitor and you can also have a diode and so that will restore the uh, gate pulse back to its original shape. So, here you have uh, this arrangement after removing the DC and then the DC restore circuit will make the gate pulse similar to what it was originally. So, 
that solves the problem and eliminates the issues that uh, arise and the limitations that happens because of the value of the duty ratio. So, by this um, arrangement your pulse transformers are used and uh, it works very well. Um, and as I told you that there are several advantages of uh, using pulse transformer based uh, gate drivers that you do not need a floating supply, you, you do not need a separate DC supply, both the power and the signal can be transferred uh, through the pulse transformer itself. Um, and uh, you get a very good noise immunity also because your uh, transformers uh, have that uh, good levels of noise immunity. Uh, but then there are certain challenges as well and uh, that challenge is associated with the design of uh, this transformer. As uh, the power levels increase especially when your uh, switching frequency increases this parasitics of the transformer they tend to dominate. Now, you have studied the equivalent circuit of um, uh, transformers and you have seen that that it has got your uh, inductances and um, your re resistances. If, if you have um, uh, forgotten that you may recall uh, your 50 hertz transformer uh, this is the, uh, the equivalent circuit. that you might have studied. These are your leakage inductances on the primary and the secondary side. Okay, this may be different and then this is your core resistance and then this is your magnetizing inductance LM and then you have also got the parasitic uh, resistances there. And as your switching frequency increases, if it becomes very high then uh, we may also get capacitive parasitic capacitances also intervining capacitances may, may be there or, uh, okay. So, that also may be uh, coming, but that usually happens at uh, much higher frequencies than um, for which presently the converters are being used. Okay. So, capacitive uh, parasitic capacitances uh, still are not um, but given that much importance for pulse transformers, um, but as your the silicon carbide devices and gallium nitride devices are taking over your power electronic converters, then your switching frequencies may become so high that your cap capacitances may also parasitic capacitances of transformer may also become important. So, uh, but uh, overall what is that that you as your switching frequency is increasing your effect of uh, parasitics are going to increase and that may distort the, the gate pulse waveforms and that is undesirable. So, designing the transformer such that these parasitics are very less that is a challenge. Okay. So, uh, that is one of the main challenge of using your pulse transformer, your design has to be very good. So, let me just uh, write down here, so transformer parasitics, this can distort your waveforms and that is undesirable and so design of transformer is a challenge. Especially at high frequencies. So, the key points of this lecture, your pulse transformer based uh, gate drivers are uh, also used for power electronic applications and uh, they have several advantages like signal plus power both can be transferred, transmitted uh, through the driver, uh, through the transformer, you do not need any separate uh, uh, floating supply and uh, then um, it can have a DC uh, duty cycle restriction if you uh, do not use the capacitive coupling and uh, the DC restore circuit, but usually they are used and so that eliminates that problem. But it has also that uh, challenge of designing the transformer 
properly so that parasitic effects do not dominate for high switching frequencies. Thank you.